Hey guys, Dan Hood, Big DH2000 here. Um, apparently I got lint left from the polishing. Um, it, you guys know I make uh, unique custom slingshots at times to accommodate special requirements. Here's a whisper. Color changing resin. Okay, Let's bring it up close so you can see that it's maroon. Um, this was actually a custom made one for an order. Sorry, just saw a little bit of wax needed wiping off um, uh, for special requirements, but somebody really liked it, but is having strugg struggles gripping or, you know, having some trouble with their wrist at times. Uh, so you're probably wondering, well, Dan, the lanyard hole looks weird and there's no lanyard in it. Some years back, I saw something can opener made, Randy, and it's been in my mind for a long time. It's what I've made here is not exactly the same, but it uses a lot of that concept and idea. But I made it a detachable wrist brace Randy's wasn't, but it was shaped like this. It just goes in there. It's not perfectly tight. It'll never be unless you glue it in. Okay? That's just the way it is. But let's take the watch off. You can see it wraps up and around your wrist. You hold it like this. This is adjusted for me at the moment. Okay? Uh, obviously my hand is a little big for this because the person who's getting it, I sized this for my son's hand, which is similar to the person I'm giving this to. Um, but as you can see, it also has this on this side so that if you have trouble with one band pulling harder than the other or something like that, this never goes out. Locks it in the wrist. Like I said, my hand's a bit big for this mess, but... I fit it for my son and I'll have to fine tune it for the individual when I give it to him. Just comes right out. You know, and I've given it a brush finish for now. I got see I got one or two spots I need to touch up. That always happens when you get it out in the good light. But anyway, color changing resin. You can always just put a lanyard on this if your wrist issues go away or anything like that. And if you still need the wrist brace, you just put it in, locks into place, and somebody says, well, won't it fall off this way? No, because you're pulling towards you, and even if it does fall off that way, it'll be after you release, and it's going away from your face, so if it falls, it falls, you know? But, if you get it adjusted and you like it you can always wrap a little bit of rubber around here and then when you put it in it'll never it won't move as much and it won't pop loose as much i just wanted to make sure it was detachable to adjust and use one way or the other anyway hope this makes sense here let me see if i can when you set it down here i'll set it down here All right and I'll tip this up for you guys to see. You can see how it sits. Anyway, hope you guys like this concept and this idea. Thank you to Can Opener for some of the ideas behind it. Um, you know, the curve up and around the brace. He was the first one I'd ever seen do something like that. It was phenomenal. It's a shuttlecraft that he made that did that. So I mimic that idea and then I I mimic that idea here and then I have always thought it would be nice to have a detachable one so now that I've kind of got the concept I'll adjust it for my buddy and hopefully hopefully this works out well for him and it, I can also probably make more but it is a chore to make this because you got to fit it to the individual's arm take care guys